Hi, Sarah here. I love to reduce, reuse and recycle and so here I'm doing that with my air dry clay as well. If you ever wondered if you could reuse your air dry clay that didn't go quite go to plan or if the kids like mine have had a good play with it and then they're not interested in keeping the item, let's see if we can recycle it. I have a large clean glass jar here and we also need the lid as well and I'm simply going to add little bits of our clay to this. This clay is really thin and so it's easy to crack and also it's all completely bare. There's no varnishes, no paints, no acrylics, no nothing on it. It's all the bare clay. Remember this piece that went wrong? There we go with a good snap through the middle. The bare air dry clay is weaker without any lacquer or varnish over the top of it. As you break it, I find it interesting to see the paper fibres throughout it. So add to the jar as much or as little as you have. I have boiled the kettle and cooled it down just to sterilise it. You can sterilise your jam jar as well. And I'm simply going to add quite a bit of water to this. You can actually hear it fizz as it starts, the water goes in, it really fizzes, it's probably all the little air bubbles all coming up to the surface. I've perhaps added a little bit too much water to begin with, so I'll pour just a tiny bit of that out and I'm simply just poured it out to the top line of where the clay is. And we can pop the lid on and I'm just going to leave that there for 24 hours. So it's been about 24 hours now and I've given it the odd shake every now and again and you can see how it's really started to change and so all of my terracotta clay in there, all of the colours really come out and changed it but you can see it's all really starting to soften so you can leave it a little bit longer if you like or we can go in there and we can go with um, a spoon, a spatula or something and really see if we can soften everything back up. Now that I've given it a good stir, I'm just going to pop the lid back on and leave it for another hour or so. Now that the air dry clay has really softened, I'm going to take it out of the jar and I'm going to let the air get to it to try and let the moisture and all that water evaporate out of it. So I'm doing this, I've just got an old, old tin here, I've smoothed it out nice on the top and I'm just going to leave that there for an hour or so and then after an hour I've just given it another stir and I just keep repeating every time making sure I smooth out the surface on the top. How long to leave in between stirring really depends on climate. So as a skin seems to start to form on the top or it goes a little drier on the top, you can then give it another stir and keep doing that. You can't really stir it too much and as you can see here, it's really starting to dry out. And now I'll go in with something a bit firmer and just give it another stir and we're nearly ready to knead it together. And you can see it's turning back into the clay that you get in the packet. So this is shop bought das clay. And as you can see here, I think we're ready to start kneading it so we can take it out of there onto a surface. It might be better to put a glove on if you don't want to get too messy. And I'm simply going to take all this out of here and just knead it together. And you can see it really is back to a medium and a material that we can actually use once again. With the bit that's left over in the tin and in the jar, you can add a little bit of water and you can make this into some air dry clay slip as well. I've kneaded this fully and wrapped it into a clean bag and I'm going to save it to use for my next project. And so there we have your air dry clay that you can reuse and rehydrate and reduce, reuse and recycle, which we love. Thank you for watching and I hope you come back to see some more. Bye for now.